You won't find nobody better than I Who better than cop? Rhetorical, don't need no reply Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel and getting right on into today's video y'all This one right here was a bit of a challenge for me But I really really wanted to see if I can achieve this hairstyle I wanted me a deep part a deep-sided part with a low sleep bun and when I tell y'all this hairstyle was one that gave me a challenge you guys are gonna see that it gave me a challenge so I'm already starting off I already did my hair care routine y'all already know what I do if you don't know um, you can go back on any of my older hair tutorials and you'll see all of my stuff that I do for my hair so when it comes to me doing a low bun ponytail anything like that if you watch my hair tutorials you know when it comes to my low sleep buns i like to start at the back of my head just um taking that edge effect putting it all through the crevices of my hair meaning that my hair is getting a little bit thicker now i had to really go section by section part by part i use two different edge effect edge controls i use one that is in a white bottle and i use another one that is in a pink bottle the pink bottle is for the crevices of my hair and the white bottle is for me to go back over my hair because it is of a thicker consistency and it just you know really lays my hair down now my hair my hair y'all can see my hair I recently my hair came out because I do have alopecia areata that's why I do hairstyles to try to help my girls like myself who have alopecia areata find hairstyles that we can finesse to you know just look good now I just recently had an instance where my hair came out on my edges usually I can cover up my edges with no problem but now I have a bald spot on the side the right side of my hair part of my hair came out and that's girl I'm trying my best to cover it up this hairstyle was really really difficult but I was not going to give up I was going to achieve it I was gonna make it look halfway decent some kind of way <laughs> somehow so what I did was I literally took it and I parted it on the left side my part the deep part is going to my right side because the right side of my face is my uh, I just like my hair on the right side of my face even though that patch is on that side of my face I on that side of my hair I really did that deep part on the right because I felt like when I put the most of the hair if I put it on that side it was going to cover up that bald spot but really didn't. so um I ended up having to go in with my colored edge control to cover up that patch that I have on my hair now with that edge control um when you don't have a fresh body it's gonna be hard to cover up a bald spot or anything but a fresh body of two-day edge control is gonna be perfect it still worked it did what it needed to do uh for the purposes of hiding that patch but once you um cover your hair up to let it sit overnight it will you know kind of erased it or take the um edge control off so you know you gotta just be mindful of me having that stuff having it sitting overnight when i got up the next morning um it did come off a little bit so what i like to do is which i'm going to get ready to show y'all on the next day <laughs> what i like to do is when it comes up a little bit i just go back over it with more edge control just to lay it down a little bit more you guys see that i actually did achieve it somewhat i just needed to fix a little bit of that little part that's hanging out in the, in the front right there that just take my little um brush and put that you know kind of mask that over that but when it comes to the black edge control coming up coming off i just take it again and I just go back over it a second time when that edge control dries down and I do have to do it a little bit more a little bit more now because that patch is really really um you know you can really really see it <laughs> like literally you can really, really see it but that two-day edge control is going to be your best friend if you are like me and you have alopecia areata along your edges 
that two day hold is going to be perfect for that so i just took some braid hair and like my normal low sleep ponytails i just took it and gripped it onto my little um onion tail bebop bop 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 that i have in the back of my hair and i just wrapped that around into a bun because i didn't want the ponytail i wanted a bun this time because i was going to an event and it was kind of like elegant like so i just wanted a bun because buns to me are just elegant so i took one bundle of that hair and put it around and then i took another one and i just wrap that onto that bun just to make it bigger and i only just did it put the rubber band on it once i didn't even try to do it like you know how you loop it twice i didn't even try to do that i just did it once and it was secure and i just took that and made me a bigger bun just to you know <laughs> make the bun bigger like i'm repeat myself <laughs> but I did take some uh, bobby pins. I took about four bobby pins just to make sure that it was going to be secure, secure. So um, I won't be out dancing or nothing and my bun slips off and then I'll be embarrassed. We ain't trying to have no embarrassing moments. And yeah, that's basically what I did. And then I just go back over my hair with more edge control and more two day hold just to make sure that you know people aren't going to be able to see that your girl is rocking a full bow patch on her edges and yeah i thought it was going to be really i didn't think i was going to be able to achieve this hairstyle but i did and it came out beautiful and i think that it was so elegant and I was I was amazed at myself that I finally did achieve it. If you're gonna try to achieve it, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And as always, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I'm sensual caramel with a touch of butter, best of both worlds, sophisticated, and I'm gutter.